Hello, I'm Pierre Amarenko. I'm a stroke neurologist in Paris. Uh, I am part of the uh, uh, executive committee of the Thales trial, which uh, tested the ticagrelor added to aspirin versus aspirin alone in patients with a minor stroke and TIA. Uh, the background of this trial is uh, that uh, uh, currently, uh, the American Heart and American Stroke Association recommend uh, clopidogrel plus aspirin in patients with minor stroke or TIA prescribed within uh, 24 hours of symptom onset and for 21 days, followed by monotherapy antiplatelet treatment. The monotherapy until then uh, was a gold standard uh, of uh, uh, the treatment of these patients because aspirin was the only drug that showed a beneficial effect uh, within the first uh, six weeks after a uh, qualifying event uh, with a reduction in disabling stroke or death. So, uh, in the development of Ticagrelor, uh, we first did the Socrates trial, a randomizing Ticagrelor alone versus aspirin alone in minor stroke or acute ischemic or, or acute TIA. And uh, we found that there was a non significant reduction uh, in the Ticagrelor arm compared to aspirin. However, uh, in this 13,000 uh, patient trial, there were 3,081 patients with an ipsilateral stenosis as the potential cause of their stroke. And there were more than 10,000 patients without ipsilateral stenosis. And in those with ipsilateral stenosis, we found that there was a strong 32% relative risk reduction, which was highly significant. And uh, above all, there was a, a significant uh, interaction, treatment by ipsilateral stenosis subgroup interaction. So when we designed the Thales trial, we uh, plan to have the sub-analysis in the Thales patients with uh, ipsilateral atherosclerotic stenosis of cerebrovascular uh, arteries. So the overall result of the Thales trial, uh, which was performed in 11,000 patients, was uh, that ticagrelor added to aspirin was superior to aspirin in reducing stroke or death at 30 days. The reduction was 17%. The relative risk reduction was 17%. Now, uh, at this uh, American Heart Association meeting, uh, I present uh, the result of the uh, sub-analysis in patients with ipsilateral stenosis. There were 2,351 patients, and there were more than uh, 8,600 without ipsilateral stenosis. So in the group with uh, ipsilateral stenosis, we found that there was a 27% uh, relative risk reduction, which was highly significant. While in the other group, there was an only 11% relative risk reduction. This time, we did not find a treatment by subgroup uh, ipsilateral stenosis interaction, uh, although it was close to significance, probably a, a, a power uh, uh, problem. Uh, but uh, taken together, uh, the Socrates and the Thales trial, it appears that uh, the patient with ipsilateral uh, stenosis after a minor stroke or a TIA are those who benefited uh, the most of uh, ticagrelor added to aspirin compared to aspirin with a number needed to treat of 34 and a number needed to arm of 951. So uh, a clear uh, 
benefit, uh, overall benefit uh, in the group with uh, ticagrelor uh, plus aspirin. Now, uh, the uh, next step uh, is really to uh, compare ticagrelor plus aspirin versus clopidogrel plus aspirin. And this is a case right now in a trial performed in China called the CHANCE-2 trial, uh, in which patients uh, with minor stroke or uh, TIA uh, who uh, uh, are uh, non-carriers uh, or were carriers of uh, CYP2C19 uh, loss of function allele uh, will be randomized to either ticagrelor plus aspirin versus uh, clopidogrel plus aspirin. And then we will see uh, which strategy uh, is best for our, pa our patient. Until then, I think that uh, uh, ticagrelor uh, plus aspirin uh, should be prescribed in patients with uh, ipsilateral stenosis ba based on our results and the results of the Socrates trial. Uh, and uh, um, uh, given the, uh, uh, the high benefit we, we may expect uh, at an NNT of uh, 34 and uh, a very, very low risk in this subgroup uh, of uh, bleeding complication. In the other subgroup, there was a high risk of bleeding, uh, which did not outweigh the benefit, uh, but uh, the risk was uh, concentrated in the group uh, without ipsilateral stenosis, the risk of bleeding. So uh, the next step is really uh, to have this, uh, um, uh, this uh, chance to try on results. And uh, in the meantime, I'm sure that the American Heart American Stroke Association will uh, consider the results of the TALES uh, trial overall, uh, because there was also a, a, a result uh, uh, on disabling stroke, which were strongly redu uh, reduced uh, in the ticagrelor plus aspirin uh, arm compared to aspirin overall and in the atherosclerotic stenosis subgroup. 